guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Sunday, April 17th, 2022, and I am coming on here with another wings update for April. Yay! So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot, and I make stitch markers. So go check out my Etsy shop. I will list it down below in the description box. And if you could favorite the shop and favorite a few items, it really does help me. So I live in the Chicago area. I have one daughter. Her nickname is Carrots, and we have a bunch of animals in this place, so we call it the zoo. Um, so this year, along with the past two years, you guys have helped with a domestic violence organization that is also based here in the Chicago area called Wings. Uh, all the links for Wings will be down below their website, uh, the link to their wish list on Amazon. And if you also shop on Amazon, uh, you can add them as your charity of choice if you go to smile.amazon.com. So go and check out all those links below. So every month for this year, they have asked for, well, almost every month, they have not asked for anything for December. The list is down below in the description box. It is also in the Facebook group too as a pinned announcement, so you can go check it out there if you want. Uh, they've asked us for specific handmade items and you are more than welcome to send in for all the months, one month, no months, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. Um, so it's pretty exciting, the things that we've already received this year. I believe March was um, shawls and lightweight ponchos and we just received some absolutely gorgeous shawls. So if you have not seen any of those videos, I do highly recommend to go check them out. There is a Wings 2022 playlist and you are more than welcome to go and look through those videos and see the amazing donations that have been sent already. So for this month, which is April, they have requested makeup bags, hair accessories, hair ties, hair scrunchies, things like that. Uh, you can knit, crochet, sew, loom knit, however you want to send them in. A lot of people have also sent in stuff via Amazon and that is okay as well. So um, most of the items that I have here today, I think are hair accessories and makeup bags. So just to give you a heads up for the next um, couple months, so May is... Uh, let me see her diaper bags. <laughs> so um, if you are so inclined to crochet a diaper bag or sew a diaper bag or purchase a diaper bag, you are more than welcome to do that and send those in for May. And then for June, they are asking for doll clothes and that can be any size. So you don't have to send an email asking what size. They will take any size because they have all size dolls there and hacky sacks. So it's kind of like a stress ball, but it has the heavier filling on the inside. Um, please feel free to Google it on, on how to actually make one of those or what kind of filling to use on those. Now, I do also recommend that if you can donate locally, please donate locally. It helps your community and it saves you money on shipping. And, um, you know, please don't apologize. I get so many letters and cards and emails. I'm so sorry I couldn't donate this month or I could only donate one thing. I really, I, I don't want to hear anyone apologizing for anything. I don't want you to apologize for not sending anything, for only sending in one item, for not thinking your work isn't good enough. For people that don't have anything, your work is perfect, okay? So let's just get that out of the way. If you're watching this for the first time, please do not apologize for not sending anything or uh, donating locally or thinking your stuff isn't good enough. Um, I don't want to hear it, okay? <laughs> so, all right, so today I have 15 packages, um, but most of them are small because hair accessories don't take up that much space in a box like shawls did. So um, we're going to get started. We're going to get started on the first one here. So the first one actually came in an Amazon package and I had to look at the gift tag so I could figure out who it was from. And it says, this is from Anne, and it says, these bags are for the ladies at Wings. My hairbands should be in the mail tomorrow. Oh, Anne, thank you so much. Okay, so she ordered a 50 piece set of makeup bags. Oh my gosh, they are so cute with the little eyelashes. Those are perfect. Thank you so much for sending those. I'm gonna leave them in the plastic here so they don't get all mumbo jumboed everywhere. But Anne, thank you so much for sending the makeup bags from Amazon. It's very, very much appreciated. 
All right, let's get to the next one. All right, the next package comes from Kathy and she's from Arizona and I have a note. By the way, you guys can write just wings on the package if you don't want to include a note. You don't have to include a card. I will say though that a lot of people ask for the patterns. So if you've made something and you have a pattern, it would be really nice if you could include a small note or a post-it or something with the name of the pattern that you used. Bonus if you have the name of the yarn, but not so much as important as the name of the pattern because a lot of people adore your work and they want to try the same thing that you did and it helps if they know um, what pattern you guys used. Okay, so I have a note from Kathy and it's it's fine writing, it's just small. Okay, Rose, hello. The months seem to roll around quickly. I'm not speedy by any means. Here is my donation. This hair scrunchie to me is like amigurumi to you. Don't think I'm ever going to make one again. So I stopped halfway on the length before stitching the tube around the elastic. <laughs> Thought that would be a real fight to go further. <laughs> okay, so here is her hair scrunchie. It's adorable, you did a great job, but it's okay, I totally understand. If you don't ever wanna do another hair scrunchie, don't do another hair scrunchie. <laughs> All right, and then she says, the hair accessory patterns are from Crochet World something. Maybe it's a magazine. Uh, oh, spring. I'm sorry. Crochet World Spring of 2022. Okay. So here are, here's a hair tie. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. It's cotton and it's just open at the bottom so you can tie it around your, your hair. And then she says, something hair tie by Deborah something. I used Premier something. <laughs> 100% cotton. So that's this one. It's premier something 100% cotton. Um, color is called Berry Basket. So you could probably Google that if you want to find out the yarn. Oh, that's really, really pretty. I love that. And then it says the Candy Sprinkle Scrunchie is also by Deborah something, something with an A. It's in that, it's in the magazine, you guys, Crochet World Spring of 2022. Okay. And then she says, I used Yarn B. Rhapsody Hughes in April bought one to two something and she has something to go. <laughs> I can't read it. Um, 90% cotton and 10% polyester. Okay, for the cosmetic bags, I followed a YouTube tutorial for the mosaic design. Nine inch YKK metal zippers and approximately 2.9 to three ounces of dishy 100% cotton yarn in berry basket something summer jams and canai they should wear they should wear um something and wash well <laughs> oh my gosh these are so pretty oh my gosh are you serious kathy these are gorgeous oh my goodness gracious I definitely want to go and check that out now I don't know that I could do a zipper but oh my goodness look at this one you guys that is so pretty. So you see, that looks like Tunisian crochet. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, and then she says, hope you and yours are doing well and staying warm. Yeah, it's cold here. I appreciate the opportunity you provide to assist others in need. Thank you. Sincerely, Kathy. Um, she says, I really like to try to write so you can read it. <laughs> okay, Use the enclosed yarn for a prize. Oh, okay, so she also sent two of these Premier Anti-Pilling DK colors. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And that is called Alpine. And so she said we can use these in a thank you prize. So for anyone who's new here, at the end of every month, I pick some people and uh, they get thank you gifts. It's a random number picker. Uh, you can also opt out and not be a part of the thank you gifts if you would like to. And Kathy, thank you so much. I will put these in one of the yarn boxes I already have going. So thank you so much. Okay, next. All right, you guys, the next package came from Marsha and she's from Michigan and she has a YouTube channel here. I will link her down below. She is so amazing. It's made by Marsha Mom Marsha. Oh my God, I just love her. Okay, so she sent a card. She makes her own cards, you guys. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? <gasps> what? Love it. Okay. Hi, Rose Carrots in the Zoo. Enclosed is my wings donation for April. I sealed a meal them so... 
I oh, it's like one of those um, whatever takes the air out of your food. <laughs> so you might want to open them right away to decompress them. LOL. <laughs> also, the Notions pouch is for you, or you can donate it to your giveaway. It's purple. Love hugs and kisses from Marsha. Enclosed also stickers to be used as tuck-ins for your giveaways. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she says this bag can be for you or can be used in your giveaway and it's purple. What? That's purple? So does it change like in the sunlight or something? Okay, we got to check this out, you guys. And it's like, a oh, look at that. Hooker supplies. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Is it okay if I give this away? It's adorable. I love it. Oh my, I thought maybe the material turned purple, but it's purple there. Okay, so I, I think I will put it in as a thank you gift. Thank you so much. Okay, and then she's got two of these vacuum sealed things. So let me open these up. Okay, you guys, so here are the stickers. I'm not gonna take them all out. I'll just put them in all of the thank you gifts. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crafting forever, housework whenever, make beautiful things, maker's gonna make. So there's just like a whole bunch of stickers in here. Thank you so much. Okay, and then, so she made these all by hand, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a makeup bag. Here's one. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Two, I love that fabric. Three, four. Oh, look at that one. Five, look at this. Marsha, you are amazing six and seven makeup bags and then she made the scrunchies with fabric no way that is way too beyond my my skill level so here's a couple more <laughs> they're so pretty with the little you know oh my gosh this one has a little bow okay and then we've got three in that pattern and then we've got two in that pattern. So Marsha, thank you so much for all the scrunchies and the makeup bags and the stickers and the other gift. I really do appreciate it. You guys need to go and check her out. She is awesome. Okay, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package came from Dolores from California and she says, hi. And then it's funny on the back, it says, bye. <laughs> so cute okay she writes hello rose here are some scrunchies for wings the pink furry are lion brand faux fur so let me show you these she had a whole bunch of uh scrunchies it's so hard to even tell but there they are <laughs> um the dark purple is mainstay velvet oh my goodness gracious okay there's a ton of these you guys <laughs> oh my gosh Look at these, and they're so soft. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, and then she says the one black one, <laughs> sorry hard for my eyes, is also mainstay velvet. The multicolor ones are Baby B Adorable. Adorable. That's these. And um, She's got another one in here, but she doesn't say what yarn this is. Okay, she says, um, there shouldn't be any evidence of my critters. If there is, I apologize. I was being extra careful. Take care and may you continue with your giving and blessed heart in all you do. Love, Dolores. Oh, Dolores, thank you so much. And thank you for all of the hair scrunchies. And yes, she's talking about you guys. I'm pretty allergic to cats. So if you do send something that's handmade and you have cats, I would appreciate it if you could wash them before you package them up and send them to me. Um, I know that I unboxed like a whole lot of shawls earlier this year and I had a really hard time breathing once I was going through them. So I would really, uh, really appreciate it if you have animals, um, specifically cats, um, if you can make sure their hair and dander and they're not on top of the items. That would be really, really nice. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Violet and she's from Oregon. And look at the card. Oh my gosh, I don't drink coffee, but I would drink it if it had that smiley face in it. Oh, something came out. A little sticker of a bus, cute. Okay, dear Rose, I don't remember where I got the pattern for the scrunchies. I single crocheted around the hair tie, slip stitch in the first single crochet, chain three, double crochet in all single crochets, and then slip stitch to the third stitch of the chain three. <laughs> if anyone wants this pattern, let me know. I'll type it out for you. And then she goes on to say the rest of the pattern. Some scrunchies, some scrunchies are in unforgivable. 
The others I got yarn from Joann's. It was a small cake with a baby on it. The rest I figured they might also like. The mailers are for you, Rose, and sticker from your yarny friend, Violet. P.S. The scrunchies are not sets. Okay. All right. So, oh, this must be the one with the unforgettable yarn. So I'll just show you guys the colors. Oh my gosh. Those are so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, Violet, these are beautiful. I love them. I am going to zip this back up here so we cannot have scrunchies all over the place. But there you go. Those are those scrunchies. They're so pretty. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here's some little ponytails and that kind of scrunchie. I love these. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at all the colors. These are so pretty. If anyone wants that pattern, I'll type it out and send it to you in an email. You just have to send me an email, roselikescrochet at gmail.com. And then here are the mailers. Ooh, thank you. Maybe I can use these for when I send out stitch markers. <laughs> thank you so much, Violet. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Liz and she's from Massachusetts. And she says, welcome to the zoo. Oh, and it's a purple cat. You guys, I love cats. I wish I could have them, but I'm just really allergic. She says, you're perfect. No cat here, here, dog hair, yes. <laughs> That's so funny. I have a big dog, you guys. So I'm not allergic to dogs, but I am allergic to cats. All right, she writes, hi, Rose. It's so hard not apologizing for making mine or better items for donating. You guys, stop that, okay? No more, no more apologies. So I won't say I wish I made more, I wish I made better items. No, you can't say that either. <laughs> so she says, enclosed are seven makeup bags. I enjoyed making them and feel good to donate them to a great cause, my best Liz. And she says, no patterns and she used scrap yarn. Let me tell you guys, scrap yarn is the best. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Oh my gosh, they look like a little flower pot. That is awesome, Liz. These are so cool. Oh my gosh, and they're soft. <laughs> I love it. Okay, here's a drawstring bag. I know you guys can see that. Here is another one. Oh my gosh, these are so squishy too. <gasps> okay, here is another drawstring bag. Oh my gosh, I love these. Look, they're like tied on the, oh my gosh, Liz. You're awesome. And then there's two like this that have a button. So there's a purple one and a green one. Wow, Liz, these are so nice. Thank you so much for sending all of these makeup bags for the ladies at Wings. I really, really do appreciate it. All right, next. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Molly and she's from California. And I have a handwritten note here. And it says, so excited to be sending you my first donation for wings. Thank you for inspiring us to be better and do better. You bring love, kindness, and serenity to the yarn community. You guys, we have an amazing community here. My favorite unboxings on YouTube are on your channel. I love seeing the brilliance and generosity of your viewers makes. Happy Pesach to you, Carrots and the Zoo. Sincerely, Molly, AKA Got Java. Okay, so thank you so much and happy Passover to anyone who is celebrating. So here are, oh my gosh, I'm gonna leave them in the bags, but I'm gonna show you guys. Look at that makeup bag. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. What? Gorgeous. Look at that one. Oh, there's two in here. Okay, so here's one here. That's like thick, juicy yarn. <laughs> here is a smaller one. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, um, we need the pattern for this. <laughs> this is so pretty. I love that it goes, I, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but it goes like, it's vertical. It looks like back loops only. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, I need it. You have a whole bunch of these in here. I need the pattern, pattern, pattern. So pretty, <gasps> love it, love it. Here is one that has a button and there is the back of it. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Here's another one. I love that design and there is the back. Oh my gosh, Molly, these are gorgeous. I like the way that one pulled, that's really cool. And here is another one in that retro stripe from Red Heart. Molly, thank you so much for sending all of these beautiful, beautiful um, makeup bags. Yeah, makeup bags. 
they're gorgeous. I love them. I do need the pattern for this one, please. So if you can leave a comment. Speaking of comments, if you guys could all like and share this video, that is really, really helpful to get the word out about wings. And please leave a positive comment down below. It really does help boost the morale of everyone. And even if you don't donate, come back in a couple days and read the comments. They're pretty cool. You guys have nice things to say about each other. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, so the next package just had a last name on it, and they're from California, but then I found a card inside the bag, and it says Crochet by Karen. Uh, crochet by Karen Julian at gmail.com. And website is www.crochetbykaren.com. And she's got her phone number on here. So I don't want to show the phone number. So I'll just show you the card there. If you guys want to, I'm sorry, I can't take off my, <laughs> my finger off the phone number to show you the email. But I just said that to you so you can go and check it out. So that was all that was in there in this huge bag of hair scrunchies. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I did accidentally rip the top. So it is open, so I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of them so you can see they're like the really curly ones. Oh my gosh, I love these, these are so fun. And it looks like there's some other kinds in here, but I don't wanna empty the whole bag, but there is another kind right there. But I think most of these are those little curly ones. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Karen, for sending this huge bag of uh, hair scrunchies. They're gonna have such a good um, choice uh, for the ladies at Wings, and I really, really do appreciate it. Okay, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package did not have a return address on it, but there is a note in the bag. It says, the Cylinder Cosmetic Bag Crochet Pattern by Sarah Satch of Posh Pooch Design. Okay, so I think that that is this one. Oh, there's something in here too. So I think, I think our mystery person is doing more than uh, what she should or he should. Okay, so there is a smoothing block inside there. Thank you so much for doing that. And this is really cool. Um, so I just unbuttoned it. This is so pretty. And it is a cylinder shape. That's so cool. So it's called the Cylinder Cosmetic Bag Crochet Pattern by Sarah Satch of Posh Pooch Designs. I love watching Sarah. She she goes live every Tuesday. I can't watch the live, but I watch the replay and she's pretty awesome. So here, you know what? I'm going to show you. That's the cylinder shape. That's so cool. I love that. And then there's another pile of stuff here in the bag. She says, no pattern for the knotted head ties. There's three adult and two child sizes. And the crochet hook case is for a thank you gift. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So she sent this as a thank you gift. So that'll go in the pile for thank yous. And then, um, oh, you know what? We I'm sorry, we have another um, makeup bag. That's so pretty. And then here are the ties. Oh my goodness. So here's one, two, three, and then here are the smaller ones. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Whoever you are, thank you so much for sending the hair ties and the makeup bags and the thank you gift, the hook case. I really do appreciate it. You know who you are, so thank you so much. You guys remember you can remain anonymous. That's totally fine. Um, you can also put your name in there and say you don't want to be entered in the thank yous. You could say don't say my last name. However you want to do it, I'm totally okay with, with anything you guys want to do. So thank you so much, whoever you are. You know who you are. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Kimmy, and she's from California, and she made this special postcard. I think you made it, right? It's so cute. It says, Hi, Rose, YouTube tutorial by Cappuccino Accessories with a little variation on my part. Take care and thank you from Kimmy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let me just show you a couple of them. Holy smackerels. Oh, my God. Oh, she's got them tied together. That's awesome. Look at those scrunchies. That one is sparkly. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. There's another batch here tied together. I love this. Look at all of those scrunchies. Oh my goodness, Kimmy, thank you so much for sending all of these. 
Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put them back in the bag so that they don't get lost and mixed up. And I do appreciate you sending the donations. Um, I think Kimmy sends something like every month or every other month. I don't know, she's been sending stuff forever. So Kimmy, thank you so much. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, the next package comes from Alice and she's from California also. And I have a note and it says, hello, darling Rose, made these two Stash Buster makeup bags with a lot of caring and love. The purple heart is for you love alice from los angeles oh my gosh okay you guys are so sweet okay so here's the little purple heart oh it's a little felted heart oh my gosh thank you so much for that i'm gonna put it in the baggie so it doesn't get lost i'm gonna put it right up here if you guys could see my setup i have a box <laughs> it's a game box like a connect four game box that's the only way to get my tripod up higher <laughs> but i use it as my shelf when i'm making videos all right so oh she has them wrapped so nicely too oh my goodness these are so pretty <gasps> what alice look at that i don't know if you guys can see but it's sparkly <gasps> oh my goodness this part is sparkly that is so pretty. And look at this, it has purple in it. <laughs> purple is my favorite color in case you did not know. I love that big button. Oh my gosh, Alice, thank you so much for sending these beautiful makeup bags. I really do appreciate it. And that purple heart, you didn't have to do that, but I do love it a lot. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, so the next package comes from Diane and she's from Oregon and she sent me a doggy card. Yes, I love doggies. Okay, and then she says, I forgot to put the note inside the box. Good grief <laughs> from Diane. So here's the note. It was taped to the outside of the box. <laughs> no worries. All right, let's see what she says here. Hi, Rose. Since my handwriting quite quickly de deteriorates into unintelligible scribbles, I thought I would spare both of us and type this note. I do mostly donate locally, but since I currently had items that are on the wings list for this month, I thought I would send them to you. Okay, she says... Okay, so, oh, she's got them all separated, so we need to make sure I keep these separated. The headbands are from a tutorial by Jada from Jada in Stitches. They are the pretty beaded hairband with ties. I've already seen some other donations that use this pattern. So this one says one large and one medium. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. So there you go, you guys. You should go check out the Jada pattern. Look at the blue one, it's like multicolored. Um, I've, oh yes, it's super easy and very quick to work up. Jada shows how to put the beads in her tutorial, but I have left them out of my hair bands. Okay, so there's two in that bag. And then here, this one says four small. So let me show you the small ones. Oh my goodness. These are so pretty. I love, 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 love them. Love them. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, I have to make sure I put them back in the right package since you labeled them so nicely. Okay, and then she says, the bag can be used for a makeup bag, I think. It is not technically a makeup bag, but since it has a drawstring, I think it could be used as one. All of the items were made with cotton yarn, so can be easily washed and dried by machine. Okay, yeah, why wouldn't this be able? I mean, it's a little big, but oh my gosh. Have you seen what some people carry in their purses? <laughs> some people's purses are twice the size of this, and it's so pretty. Wow, thank you so much. I don't know if you guys can see the stitches there. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Diane. Okay, and then she says... Thank you for the opportunity to donate to such a great organization. I am currently looking for a similar type of shelter in my area to donate to. I usually donate to Ronald McDonald House, Pregnancy Resource Center, and a local church. Oh, and also to the memory care facility where my dad used to live. I mention these organizations so that other subscribers might get ideas of where to donate if they are wondering who might benefit from their handiwork. 
One more idea, if you have a teacher in the family or know a teacher, ask them if you can donate hats for their kiddos. My son-in-law is a teacher and I have sent many hats to school with him to hand out to his second graders from Diane. That's, those are great ideas, Diane. You know who else makes um, hats for her second graders or third graders? Um, Summer from Summer's Tips and Stitches. She makes like a boatload of stuff for her kids. <laughs> and Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. She makes a ton of stuff for her kids too. So Diane, thank you so much for sending all of those amazing donations. I'm glad you had them on hand and that we can donate them to the ladies here at Wings. Okay, next. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Nadia and she's from Switzerland. What? Shut the front door. Hi, Nadia. She comments on all the videos. She did not donate last year um, due to some issues she was having, but she did donate like the first year and I think the second year. And she sent stuff all the way from Switzerland. And I so appreciate you, Nadia. She has doggies too. So anyway, here is the card that she sent. Oh, Nadia, you're so sweet. Okay. She writes, Dear Rose, Carrots, and the Zoo, I hope this card finds you well. I decided to use up the stash of one of my favorite yarns for this. I'm pretty sure it's discontinued so I added just one ball band for information and didn't write down all the colors. I found all the patterns on Ravelry apart from the scrunchies. They are free-handed with the last bits of yarn I had. Thank you for all the hard work you do for Wings and thanks to everyone who donated. Nadia and her zoo as well. Okay so this is the yarn that she used. This is uh, Concept Cosmopolitan by Katia. So that is the yarn that she used. She says it might be discontinued though. So then she's got everything labeled. Okay, so here, um, this says scrunchies free-handed. So there are some scrunchies that she used her leftover yarn for. And then this one says, Airy Summer Headband by Helen C. Smith. Oh my goodness gracious. If you could only feel how soft this is, you guys, and this is all sparkly yarn. Oh my goodness. So there's one, two, three of that pattern. Oh my gosh, these are just so pretty. Okay, this one says Shell Headband by Sarah McFall. So you guys can see that one. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. And then this one is tied together and it says Hair Thingle or Thingy by Melanie Hoffman. So I'll show you guys that. Oh my goodness. And they're all sparkly. So they have the ties on both sides. There you go. And then we have this set, which says the Rosie Wrap by Melissa Mall did change up the stitches a bit. Okay, well, that's all right. So there's the front of it. And this is all sparkly yarn too. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. I love these, Nadia. Okay, and then we have two makeup bags. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. The Perfect Purse by Lion Brand Yarn. Oh my goodness, if you could only see the glitter in there. What? Nadia, first of all, thank you so much for sending me a package all the way from Switzerland. You rock, and I hope everyone leaves a positive comment, not only for you, but for everyone who sends a donation, no matter how close or far you are. Um, and just, I appreciate you taking the time to make items for wings for ladies here in, in the Chicago area, in the US. I really, really do appreciate that. And I hope you guys are doing well, you and your zoo. All right, we have two more packages, guys. All right, so the next package comes from Patricia and she's from Massachusetts and here is the card. Oh my goodness, you guys are awesome. It says, hi Rose, these are my donations for April. I am a new subscriber and I really enjoy watching you show all the beautiful items people make for such a worthy cause. God bless you for what you do and God bless your daughter and all the people at Wing. Sincerely, Patricia. Well, Patricia, thank you so much for that. Thank you for donating. Thank you for being a subscriber. You don't have to be a subscriber to watch or to donate, um, but it, it's, really, it's really nice to see how many people have come together to help with this wings project and I do appreciate it. Okay, so she's got baggies and it has notes on it. This one says hair bands were made with some acrylic and some cotton yarn. All are machine wash and dry. Okay, so I'm gonna probably leave them in the bag 
so that I can um, have the care instructions there. But they look like this. Oh, they're so sweet. They're so sweet. Here is another one. This one is definitely cotton. So it's a little bit wider. And then I'll show you the rest of, oh my goodness, a whole bag full. This is so awesome. Okay, and then there is another bag here. And it says scrunchies were made uh, some cotton and some acrylic, all are machine wash and dry. Oh my goodness, there's, there's a neon one in here, you guys. I have to take it out and look at it. <laughs> Holy smackerels. Okay, that is bright neon. <laughs> so here is an entire bag of scrunchies. I love them there. You can see what that looks like. Thank you so much. And then here is another bag. And it says, hi, Rose, we would love to be lovies. What? Oh my goodness, there's a whole baggie here. Okay, so um, Patricia, I just had to make sure I had the right name. Patricia, is it okay? Um, because I think in November is Lovies for Wings. Do you want me to send this to someone to make Lovies? Or can I make these into lovies and then donate them to wings in November. Can you let me know if you can either leave a comment or email me? I would appreciate it. I'll hold on to these um, and I'll wait for your response. So if you want me to send this out as a thank you gift or if you want me to make them into lovies, I will turn these into lovies and then donate them to wings. Let me know. All right, so we have one more box, guys. All right, you guys, the last box comes from Lillianne and she's from Florida and she sent me a note and it's really funny because it's um, <laughs> the notepad is a grocery list. And she said, this is not your grocery list. <laughs> so thank you so much. Cause I don't want to have to go to the store and purchase anything. <laughs> okay. So she says, dear Rose, I hope all is good with you carrots and the zoo. I had fun making the makeup bag. The black spike sparkly yarn was from Hobby Lobby cotton. Okay. So let me find that one. Oh my goodness. There's there is um, a whole bunch of baggies here. Okay, so she says in this bag, the mini bean stitch by Ophelia Talks on YouTube. <gasps> wow, that is so pretty. Okay, I know you guys can see the sparkly. The green is actually sparkly. What? Okay, and then here, this was in, the other one in there. You can see the stitches a little bit better. Um, so there's that one. This one um, says... She's got a lot of notes here. Hold on. <laughs> I also made bag o day bags, but I adjusted the height for makeup bags. Okay, so here, let me just show you this last. Well, I showed you. This was the other Ophelia Talks one. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. I have to go check those out. Okay, this is, okay, this bag is the bag o day one. Hey, let me see what we got here. Okay, so she says the bag o day, um, I adjusted the height for makeup bags. The one bag was not. Okay, so hold on. Okay, so this was a, a bag o day regular bag pattern and she just made it shorter to make it a makeup bag. <gasps> That's perfect. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, here is another one. Oh yeah, that's perfect. You guys, don't be afraid to modify patterns to make them how you, how you want them, right? Like if something calls for 100 stitches and you don't want it that wide, just reduce the number of stitches, right? Okay, here is the other one she's talking about. It says the one... The one bag not in the Ziploc bag was kind of my pattern in error. It was supposed to be clusters, but somehow it came out different in a good way. <laughs> this is so pretty. Okay, so here is, yes, it's so cool. I love it. It's got the little drawstring too. My goodness. Okay, the yarn is Red Hearts Wildflower. It's beautiful, and I know you would like it because of the purple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know what, though? I really like this one because of the sparkles. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Thank you, Rose, for making the time to put all beautiful crochet knitted items on videos. I enjoy watching them very much. Take care. Love, Lillian. Okay, but she's not done. She put a whole bag of, um, she put a whole thing of scrunchies. <laughs> words today words today she put all those in there and then she's got a bag here of yarn and it says please add these yarns to your giveaways oh, thank you so much oh my goodness okay so i'll show you guys the yarn it is hobby lobby i love this cotton and the color is pastel 
Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. And I can put these in a thank you. And then um, there's a whole bag of beads here. What does she say here about these beads? Uh, hi, Rose. Please accept the beads. I used to make jewelry, but I switched to crochet. <laughs> I'm sharing with you my extras. I hope you can use them for your stitch markers. Love, Lillian. Oh my gosh, Lillian, you're so sweet. Oh my gosh, so there's a big bag of beads in there. Thank you so much for sending those. These are so cool. I don't know how to turn those into stitch markers, though. If anyone has ideas, let me know. <laughs> So everyone, thank you so much for sending the donations um, to Wings for this month. I appreciate everyone who sent in uh, anything at all. Remember, please no apologizing for anything. You should be proud of the work that you guys do. Leave a positive comment and I'm sure I will see you in the next couple days for not another Wings update, but maybe for another regular update. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.